From groundbreaking moments to funny incidents, let's dive into rare football moments with female referees. Number 1. Bibiana Steinhaus Bibiana Steinhaus made history in September 2017 by becoming the first female referee to officiate a men's Bundesliga match. Her debut game between Hertha BSC and Werder Bremen had plenty of tense moments due to the high stakes of top-flight German football, but Steinhaus managed to find light in a disputed foul call. During a contentious challenge, one of the Werder Bremen players vehemently protested the foul decision. Steinhaus remained calm, smiling while gently dismissing the player's complaints. Her cool demeanor and playful shrug not only diffused the situation, but also prompted laughter from nearby players, easing the tension on the field. By maintaining her professionalism and confidence, she was able to carry on managing the match in a way that promoted respect and kept emotions in check. Steinhaus's approach showcased her knack for controlling high-stress environments, and her leadership was well-received by both teams and her approachable style made the match a positive example of how human or lightness can contribute to refereeing success. Her officiating style helped foster an amicable atmosphere, demonstrating that a referee's ability to connect with players is just as important as calling fouls. Number 2. Fernanda Colombo Brazilian referee Fernanda Colombo is renowned for exceptional officiating and her ability to maintain a lighthearted approach on the field. She particularly shone during a charity match in Ecuador where she demonstrated her playful side with a memorable prank. In a moment of mischief, Colombo appeared to be reaching into her pocket to brandish a yellow card for an offending player. The player, already anticipating the booking, stood still with a sheepish look on his face. But instead of pulling out the card, Colombo revealed a white handkerchief and dramatically wiped her forehead, leaving the player confused for a split second before breaking into a relieved smile. The fans erupted in laughter, and Colombo shared the joy as she acknowledged the crowd with a grin. Her clever sense of humor diffused any tension surrounding the potential foul and reminded everyone that football could still be playful, even in the midst of competition. Colombo's prank not only showcased her unique personality, but also illustrated how the unique relationship between referees and players can be one of mutual respect, understanding, and fun when handling with the right attitude. Number 3. Alexandria Gracia in 2019, a quiet town 30 miles outside Madrid captured Spain's headlines after an incident during a junior match. An 18-year-old referee, Alexandra Gracia, faced relentless abuse throughout the 90 minutes she officiated a match between two youth teams in the lowest tiers of Spanish football. The verbal aggression stemmed not only from the players, but also from the parents in the stands. The insults, including comments like, go do the dishes, go home, became increasingly vile as the game went on. Garcia's mother, who was present, described the ordeal. I was filled with rage and dismay. Nobody said or did anything. I spent 90 minutes listening to my daughter being insulted. It was a total lack of respect, which is intolerable. The distressing episode highlights the challenges faced by referees, especially when sexist abuse is added to the mix. In Garcia's case, the spectators normalized the abuse rather than condemning it. Her experience shows that while insults towards referees remain an issue, sexism exacerbates the problem, making abuse more personal and tolerable. Number 4. Cian Massey Ellis A similar instance of sexism occurred in 2011 involving English assistant referee Cian Massey Ellis during a Liverpool vs Wolverhampton Wanderers match. Massey Ellis made a critical offside decision that was later validated by video analysis. However, Sky Sports commentators Richard Keyes and Andy Gray, believing their microphones were off, disparaged her with sexist comments. Somebody better get down there and explain offside to her, said Keyes, to which Gray replied, Can you believe that? Female linesmen, they probably don't know the offside rule, Keyes added. Why is there a female linesman? Such remarks reveal deep-rooted biases and assumptions about women in sports. Despite the backlash they received, some prominent figures defended their comments as banter. Former manager Harry Redknapp downplayed the remarks, stating that these jokes like these were common in the dressing room and were not intended to cause harm. However, the public outcry against Keyes and Grace's comments ultimately led to their dismissal from Sky Sports, signaling that overt sexism was no longer acceptable in football commentary. Number 5. Fernando Colombo Fernanda Colombo once again brought her distinctive blend of humor and joy to the pitch in a match that combined romance with lighthearted fun. During this particular game, a group of referees had gathered to discuss their next decision. It seemed to be a challenging call, given the need for uh, such a huddle, but they managed to maintain a lighthearted atmosphere as pairs of referees exchanged laughs and jokes. After the discussion, as they all prepared to return to their respective spots, the fourth official, the referee holding the whistle, suddenly turned around and placed a gentle kiss on Fernanda Colombo's lips. At first glance, it seemed like a surprising and cheeky gesture, but Colombo's joyful reception of the kiss revealed it was anything but a prank. The romantic moment delighted the players and fans as they learned that the referee was Colombo's husband, who had proposed to her in 2018. 
The heartwarming display was not only funny and romantic, but also exemplified the strong bond between the couple. In the spirit of the occasion, one of the players jokingly sought to exchange flags and whistles with the two officials, suggesting Columbo take over as the fourth official. Number 6. Yellow Card Selfie in October 2019, a charity football match brought together a Brazilian team and an Israeli veteran squad. Featuring football legends such as Ronaldinho, Rivaldo, Babeto, Roberto Carlos, Cafu, and many more, the star-studded event showcased the dazzling skills of these iconic players while raising funds for a good cause. The second half had just begun and the spirited game was filled with crisp passing and dribbling. In the midst of the action, Kaka, a Brazilian legend himself, took center stage. While Kaka was dribbling down the field, the referee suddenly stopped play and approached the famous midfielder. Reaching into her pocket, she dramatically pulled out a yellow card and appeared to book Kaka. The Brazilian legend looked utterly perplexed by the unexpected decision. Moments later, the ref went back to her pocket as if to hand out another card. However, to everyone's surprise, she pulled out a smartphone instead of a red or yellow card. And with a playful smile, she took a selfie with Kaka, who burst out laughing at the joke. The audience erupted into cheers and applause as Colombo's lighthearted stunt left both players and fans beaming. The unexpected moment became one of the highlights of the match, showing that football, even among the world's greatest legends, can still be fun and full of joy. And that's all the time we had today, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon on your way out. See you next time.